Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigal here and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a wonderful day because we get to have the pleasure of fighting boss Starfire. Awkward. We're going to start off with King with North Snow Globe and Dr. Fate for Sarnkov with a secondary account because this is where this fight is. And um, yeah, I think it, it, it's it's going to be so fun that it's going to be the highlight of the video. I open up with King so that she has enough energy bro chill chill so that she has enough energy to maybe kill Dr. Fate on the first second. Okay, that went actually better than expected. So I'm actually afraid for King and his clones now. I think I can generate power. Until she uses super moves. By the way, she's one of the very few characters that can actually back off from King's basic hits. Just when you do three tap hits, he's got huge reach. He's able to catch most characters, but Starfire, nah, bro. Starfire still escapes. Okay, let's get the first clone in there. And that's about it, that's all the first clone will be able to do. Oh, looks like jump attacks kind of work on her because she's got somewhat of slow hits. The enemy needs to kind of do three hits on you in order to feel comfortable using a special. So what happens here is uh, our jump attack staggers her before she's able to do that. Yeah, this is actually pretty reliable. Take notes, guys. If you're fighting Starfire with King and you can't combo and drop, you just do this. Because with other characters, it doesn't work very well. Because they kind of get three hits in the air before you land your jump attack. And you don't stagger them and they move on to using a special. But yeah, we might as well get killed here because this is going to be the last minutes. Oh boy, I do not want another one of those fears threatening the clone too. Okay. Oh, she blocked it. No, no, no. Oh, that's awful. That's that's King dying once. Oh boy, she's so fun to fight again. Over there, I didn't start it in time. Also, seems like it's preventing her from backing off. As we'll do a super move kill. Every little bit of damage counts here. Okay. We need more percentage of damage here. We're gonna use uh, Baton Flats with Sword of Salvation that I dropped from uh, the Advent of Chaos. And here we have Puppet at level 7 on Black Adam with no gears. Hopefully, he's gonna survive. To do his percent shell damage, and after that, we kind of want him dead. What? She backed off in the middle of my goddamn combo there. That's awful. My bad there. I like got my hand off the keyboard to actually get the mic a bit down because looks like the recording might be picking up the uh, game sounds a little bit. Okay. Oh come on! She was so close to throwing a special on Black Adam there. Oh, 
Okay, that should put us very close to final form. We're gonna get tagged out right now, and this man is hopefully gonna get killed. Okay, that's perfect. Bro! Stop backing off! Okay, there we go, we got turned the corner. Come on, power drain her. Ah, oh, whatever. I just went there to not have enough energy for a special one. But she couldn't do, do it. Did she do that without energy there? Because I'm pretty sure I, I like baited her special one with my special one, but then proceeded to also power drain her ass. So she didn't require any energy to do that. Also, I think we're done with the percentage shell damage. We are gonna do a super to vibe check that. Of course we're gonna we're gonna easily vibe check it guys. Um oh, oh. Nah bro. Yeah, I think I think that was like four four hits. I don't care anymore. Get me out of here. Next team. Okay, so here we have um, classic Wonder Woman with puppets. Just Urgan Lantern with puppets. And got here on Batman of the Drowned. I could put Dark Metal cards on her or even Kamidoga Dagger, but something tells me I'm gonna terribly regret my choices if I don't use God Killer here, so that's what we're gonna do. And hopefully this will be enough damage to kill her. Come on. Should kill Classic Wonderman pretty easily. No, 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 I should stop this. This is draining her attack and I need her to do damage to my other characters. That was that was a little bit of a mistake. Oh, look at how small damage is doing to Wonder Woman. This might have messed up the fight a little bit. Oh boy, the special was enough to kill her. Okay, we're, we're, we're fine. Those god killer hits actually didn't ruin anything. Get the super move out, because we were gonna do that anyway eventually. Back off, we don't want you getting hit with a special. We do want this man getting hit with a special. Come on, break the bubble to you. There we go. Can we get close now? Can we can we get the hit in there? Okay, we got it. Let's try to not let this go, like ever. Let's try to make it so that she's absolutely never able to do anything throughout the rest of this fight. The damage is not the best, but at the same time, unless I mess it up, this should be a guaranteed clean up here. Oh, I messed up. But it's okay, we got the gut here attack reduction. The swipe down just didn't want to go off, man. I don't know. Ah, uh, one more activation should be enough here. Clear this. Also, if you work here on, only for the Starfire fight, you might want to stick around because I'm also gonna fight her on the main account too. But yeah, that was it for boss Starfire on the secondary accounts. Slightly less annoying than I was expecting it to be, but still not, not something I would I would consider fun. Okay, so here I need to kill Batman and Raven. yeah, let's just use Raven plus Raiden. Like, we're not gonna interact with his mechanic that much, but this should be just an usual fight for them, I guess, because I don't really have any place to throw them in the next tier, because there's... 
there, there's so, some things that this team is not ready to deal with in that here. There's Blue Beetle who disables my gears for King characters, which is an information I found out the hard way yesterday. Oh. Also, he removes darkness. I, I totally forgot about that. So, yeah, let's let's go to the next fight. I, I actually forgot he removes all the negative effects he's got on him. Uh, as soon as uh, that thing happens. What we can do, actually, actually, let him go all the way to 10 stacks. And at that point, try to real fast stack some darkness. And see if we can get some damage there. I mean, since we're here anyway, and they messed up anyway. Let's see if we can get one shot this man. Let him get to 10 stacks, he doesn't get more than 10 stacks. Okay, now we get a little bit of a time frame here. Now let's just go with 3 darkness stacks from Raven. We simply don't have much more time to get more stacks and uh, also be able to tag into the heal damage. I mean, yeah, well, this is going... What? I didn't get my stacks removed. And he's got zero weakness. I guess this was a way we could have by bypassed this, but that's kind of too late. And if you keep exploding that on combo, you're gonna be fine. Like right now the weakness is gonna go away and the negative effects are not gonna go away. So bro, actually I I if I didn't mess around, I had an exploitable time frame there. Though over there, for example, we messed up with Raven and she was not on combo when using that special. So it didn't reset the timer there. Yeah, I guess this fight could have been salvaged to some extent, but it was a mistake in the first place. So yeah, really my bad here. But yeah, let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here we have Harley with Kamidogo Dagger and we're just gonna do the usual, just use League of Arc let him get uh, to 10 stacks, do a special two with Harley and it's gonna be over. Though I haven't tried this with Kamidogo Dagger. I mean, obviously, there will be a few things to keep in mind, like we're gonna need to tank Super with somebody else. And then we're gonna need to rebuild that combo. So all the combo progress I'm making now is kind of irrelevant. So we're waiting for him to do Super move, but it's not like I get something better to do. So I might as well just... Build a little bit of combo with Harley. Also, I have no idea why I'm power generating faster than him. Because I literally don't have any power generating. Oh! Ooh, she's got Nora. Why does she have Nora Snow Globe, though? Did I miss the artifacts? The damage I took on that jump attack kind of says yes. Kind of says that I put Nora Snow Globe instead of puppets as artifacts. Boy, what am I doing in this video? Whatever, the goal has not changed. Are we just with straight up without passive stats? Actually, don't know. We're, we're gonna find out, I guess, after fights. But until that point... I still wanna do my best to do this at peak efficiency.
I don't want a special kill yet because um, he is at 10 stacks but we don't have enough combo so we don't lose any damage after the uh, special kill. I want to I get to that point too. Okay, I think we're kind of there. And... I think this is going to reset it and take away the 10 weakness stacks. Yes, it does. I don't think I should have used that second special too. What I should have actually done is just keep hitting him until the weakness went away. Yeah, now I've officially messed up killing boss Batman uh, two times. So that's that. But yeah, I, I feel like the biggest issue here is not having the passive stats. Let's get at least three stacks. Okay, we also have max damage. Yeah, what I definitely should have done with the first uh, time I broke them was not use another specialty afterwards. But yeah, this sucked. Let's move on to the main account. I don't want to talk about this. Okay, so we know for a fact that we had Nora Snow Globe on EPI and we had um, uh, the, uh, the Kamidogu Dagger on Harley. What did Joker have equipped though? The Joker. Oh, he had the level 1 puppet. He was saving the day with those passives, that's for sure. Okay, here we go again. We got uh, John Grenadier who will hopefully die in a timely manner. We got Batman John with the God Killer and we got Robin with Puppet. This should be a clean one shot. Look, a cleaner one shot here would be King with Beta Club plus Raven with uh, whatever. But uh, people would be kind of disappointed if they waited for the Starfire fight on the main account this much and it just turned out to be King Beta Club plus Raven. Now, on the other hand, if you're crying about, oh, I don't have Robin King, um, yeah, unlucky. I'm going out of my way to try to use something that you're most more likely to have access to. If you're if you're gonna complain about Robin being in here, I have zero sympathy for you, by the way, and I don't care. Also, you saw in the main accounts, it goes without Robin. Bro, how did she block that? How did she block that? How does she get to block so fast after using a goddamn special? That's what I want to know. Uh, can we gap close here? No, of course not. Oh, oh, no, no. Can, can Batman the Drone hit her before she gets forcefully tagged out? Looks like not. Come on, where's the blind? Where's that blind? There we go. No! Oh. Like, she didn't, if she didn't jump enough, now she's gonna jump more. Uh, I wanted to use the third special Robin King. Okay, we finally activated the Batman the Drowned passive for the first time. Let's do some percentage shell damage as well. How is she not blinded? Whatever, I'm gonna use my own super move too. She's still not blinded. But that's fine, we're dealing 50 mil per second. There we go, she's got blind. Okay, we got this, boys. I think this is over for Starfire. This th this was not a fun experience, though. This this was definitely not one of the best moments in the Just 2 bubble, but we, we made it. Both counts. Ah, uh, let's move on. Okay, so here we have Robin. We're here down. I still haven't cleared him. I want to get to boss Batman and get my revenge for the... Secondary count events, uh, but yeah, we got um, we got Raven, Raiden, and um, 
Last squadron. Begin. And Ravens got Dark Metal cards in order to bypass at great resistance. We're missing out on a bit of passive stats, but I think it's worth it. Okay, let's get Raiden in there. Okay, that's some pretty decent damage from my boy Raiden. I don't think I'm gonna use super move. I don't really need to, considering how much damage we're dealing, and it will push him all the way to the middle of the field again. And I don't want to push him back to the corner. I don't want to get through that. And honestly, we don't need it here. As you can see, the damage is more than enough. My bad there. If this was the Raven on the secondary count, I would have lost Darkness there. That's why I'm losing it so often on the secondary count, because the Raven on the main count being higher star rating makes me a lot more confidence. Okay, that means that. Let's move on to the, um, the actual Batman fights. Okay, so this is the exact same thing I tried on my secondary account, the only difference being now we're gonna actually have the passive stats here with level 10 or Snow Globe and level 6 one. And yeah, let's see how much we can do with Kamidogu Dagger against a uh, 10 weakness tax Batman. Also, I'll need to keep in mind to not use any other special twos after the first one. Or I need to actually... I don't know if that works, I don't know... Do we mess with his stacks at all? Okay, hit me. Hit me, we're gonna test something out. That was still on combo, I think. No, it wasn't. We don't mess... I don't know if we mess with the weakness, though. I don't know if we remove the weakness, because you need to do a special that's a certain amount of combo. I don't know how much combo, but... I could try and let him hit me. After I use the first special kill that triggers the weakness. And then do a special two on no combo. I don't know if that removes the um, weakness that we had applied. But at the same time, considering the damage I'm already dealing. I mean, when I have the Kamidogo Dagger stacks, that is. I think we will not need to do that. I think we'll be just the clean one shots. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course, break all my combo, it's okay, we have we have enough time to build combo until your ass reaches 10 damage stacks. Kinda need to build more than that, because I also don't want to lose Kamidogo dagger damage stacks. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, oh oh boy, that that was that was definitely enough. That was easily enough. You absolutely murdered this man. But yeah, let's move on to the next fight. Vixen is not the worst drop. I don't need her, but it's not the worst drop, and we got time of of tech, that's garbage. Okay, so this man is gonna stun me on Tagging. We're not gonna Tagging. We're gonna use Beast Boy with Poppet, and that's gonna be how this fight goes, pretty much. I 
I mean, we did get ta we did tag in and out. I lied. We did we did it once, but we're no longer gonna do it because we've already got infinite power. As well, super move here. Get his ass stunned a bit. And now we just start spamming third special. 40 hit combos. And he should be down in a couple of, couple of seconds here. Actually, I'll do about the Shazam because he's got dot resistance, so I can't really use Beta Club, and I only have two Beta Club teams left. I have the Beta Club and Manage team, and Beta Club Mr. Freeze. Though, what I'm gonna try and do is get you one shot with Pop at Mr. Freeze. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here we have Zatanna with Puppet level 6, Puppet level 10, Mr. Freeze, and Black Adam with... Um, yeah, just something for passive stats. I don't think we're gonna kill this because this cringe at loser also has crit resistance. It has crit resistance, fortifieds, and dot resistance. Wanna get all the percentage hull damage done with this man? Can we reapply the, the passive? That would be great. Okay, that's great. That's two nice negative effects we got there. Which might help the Tana trigger pop it faster, okay. Now let's attempt to not never mind. Do a couple of these with Zatanna until she's out of percentage shell damage as well, because she is um, definitely out of um, damage buff to get. As well, super move here. To get some stacks for the Mr. Freeze passive, which I honestly. Okay, it's only at 18 stacks. It's a very good thing we did super move there with Zatanna. Now we only gotta get to super move with Mr. Freeze. And yeah, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, this man is crit resisting every single one of my hits. I think it's because Shazam characters already have a high base crit resistance, and then you add on top of that the modifier of crit resistance, and there you go, he's gonna resist every single crit. It's it's to an extent like he's crit immune. Which is which is amazing. Also, like Zatanna removes crit resistance, but that's something that happens for every missing power bar of the enemy. And yeah, we, we can't really power drain him. Unlucky. I'm just gonna skip towards the end because it's just we gotta be me futile, futilely spamming these special two of Mr. Freeze. Okay, this 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 sucked. This was real bad. Also, I think I messed up something right back. Yeah, I changed the scene on OBS by uh, trying to press something to happen in the game. Uh, but yeah, we still got one more fight, so let's get to it. Okay, so here I have Beta Club Grods. Robin. Puppet Robin. Brainiac. And Puppet the Brainiac. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have extended tagging duration, but this should be fine. Also, also when I when I when I flip the scenes in OBS by mistake, whenever that happens, people usually get exposed for some stuff like, well, let's say they were cheating, they were they were using a cheat bot on a certain game or that type of deal, or they were looking at some, I don't know, not some not safe forward material, but what I reveal is that I'm using the unpaid for version of uh, blue stacks, and I'm still. Getting ads on the left side of the screen. 
I mean, I could make it full screen and I wouldn't get the ads, but honestly, this is a much better fit and I don't mind the ads, I just don't look at them. Let's just get all the lethal stacks in there. Super move here. Rod should be fine. Yes, he is. It's not the most optimal thing with the extended tagging here, but at the same time, it's not something that's terribly hurting me. Like, I was gonna keep Brainiac for that duration of time in the fight anyway, maybe for longer even. Okay. Also, you, you saw that Empowered Kits. I got a lower dot value on the Empowered Kit from Grot's passive. Every 6 hits or something, he gets an Empowered Kit that is supposed to do more damage. Every single time that happens, I'm getting a lower dot value from it. I think that kit might be bugged to the point where, yes, it does receive the increased damage tied to it, but it can't crit or lethal or one of those. With your loving said, thanks so much for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike it, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!